after eight years, my wife's car has accumulated so much garbage, <laughs> dirt, and half-eaten sandwiches on the inside, <laughs> scratches and dents on the outside, that all further attempts to clean this vehicle are pointless. <laughs> my fellow Toastmasters and guests, my wife is in the market for a new car. <laughs> now, I am of the opinion that you should drive what is appropriate for your current station in life, your current stage of life, your current circumstances. So I naively suggested that we go check out some new minivans. <laughs> 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 My wife gives me this look, this patronizing look. It's the same look she gives my six-year-old son when he comes down dressed for school with his pants on backward. It's kind of like this. And she says, oh no, I will not be one of those minivan driving soccer moms. Now I'm confused. On the one hand, we don't technically have any kids in soccer currently. <laughs> Fair enough. But my six-year-old is currently in t-ball, my five-year-old is in gymnastics, and both kids are in swimming. I think we qualify. <laughs> I mean, really, we are the definition of a nuclear family. I think if we got the best engineers from Germany, Japan, the United States, all together in a room, and ask them to design the perfect vehicle for my family, they would literally hand us the keys to a Honda Odyssey. <laughs> it's got a vacuum built in, for God's sake. <laughs> and yet somehow I'm an idiot for even bringing it up. I'm a 90s guy, 2000s guy, so I decided to do some research to try and figure out why my wife feels this way. As it turns out, According to the Bureau of Statistics that I just made up, <laughs> nine out of ten moms would rather drive around on fire than in a minivan. <laughs> Apparently, it's not because of the lack of practicality. It's a factor of coolness. And the cool answer in this scenario is an SUV. Now, frankly, I don't think this argument holds water. I mean, if the choice was between a minivan and, say, a Ferrari, okay, then the choice is easy. You take the Ferrari and strap the kids to the roof. <laughs> but we're talking about an SUV here. These are as common as house plants, but somehow less practical. I mean, really, the inside of a minivan is perfectly built for my family and our 2.5 kids. <laughs> but I understand the lack of coolness because it does resemble a dustbuster on wheels. <laughs> By contrast, however, an SUV looks like a brick on wheels. <laughs> but somehow it's less efficient less aerodynamic, and less fuel efficient. I mean, really, according to the Toyota Sienna fan club's website, the average SUV gets about two gallons per mile unless it's driven with a hurricane force tailwind. <laughs> How is that cooler than a minivan? In addition, <laughs> if you want to take some extra people with you in the minivan, now, I know most of them have a third row of seats, but from what I can tell, there's no way to access this third row of seats. You either have to climb over the children's car seats or in through the back hatch. Neither fate, I think, my 70-year-old parents are capable of achieving. So I started doing some heavy thinking about this, and I wanted to do some more research because... This manual speech calls for a lot of research. And technically, I only had two facts, and I made both of them up. <laughs> but I was tired. And I wasn't really in the mood. 
so I decided that this was just one of those woman things that I was never going to understand, like buying shoes that don't fit or going to the bathroom in groups. <laughs> so I gave up. <laughs> We're now in the market for a minivan. <laughs> We're not for a minivan, for an SUV. But further deep thinking on this has revealed something to me. Maybe I'm looking at this all wrong. Maybe I should embrace this lack of logical thinking on my next vehicle purchase. <laughs> if Matt Foster can drive around in a truck that is so wide it doesn't fit on a single lane of any known street, why can't I be impractical too? I mean, I'm a soccer dad. <laughs> so I thought a lot about it. And for my next vehicle purchase, I'm going to get the keys to a shiny new helicopter. <laughs> Who wants to go for a ride?